GTA Online's new DLC, The Criminal Enterprises, launches on July 26 across PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox X and Series S, Xbox One, and PC. The new update will significantly expand and change the existing criminal businesses in the game, along with providing contact missions where we will be an IAA agent investigating the soaring gas prices throughout the city. All business activities, including cell missions, will now be available to play in private, invite-only, crew, and friends sessions as part of the Criminal Enterprises DLC. The Criminal Enterprises DLC will also introduce several changes to the economy, including permanent boost to race and adversary mode payouts, increased payouts for original heist and the doomsday heist, bigger paydays for bodyguards, associates, and MC members, and more. Now let's talk about how each business type is evolving. CEOs. The first change I'll talk about is CEOs will now have a new employee in their office, Lupe. They will assist you in retrieving additional special cargo for your warehouse. Every day, a new source of income will emerge. All you have to do is deliver the special cargo to the docks from outside your warehouse. Along with the addition of new sourcing missions, I see this as a good change because filling up your warehouses can be like a second job for players and of course you can't complain about having another way to make money. Similar to the auto shop business, if you own the custom bike shop in your MC clubhouse, you will be able to modify and deliver bikes for profit. A new type of passive income is on its way to the clubhouse. Bikers will now begin drinking from your clubhouse's bar, generating additional revenue. You will occasionally be required to complete a bar resupply mission, which will most likely be similar to the nightclub's popularity missions. Nightclub owners. Nightclub owners can now contact Johan for sourcing goods for their nightclub warehouse and you can call Tony to request nightclub management missions. This change fixes the annoying aspects of the nightclub. No longer will players have to wait long periods of time before their product to generate in the warehouse and driving over to your nightclub's computer to start up management missions is annoying. Gunrunners. A new revenue stream will be added for bunker owners. You will be able to make a daily delivery to ammunition for extra money. Two new resupply missions will be added, as well as the ability to call Agent 14 for missions to expedite your bunker research. Operation Paper Trail is the name of the new series of contact missions. As an IA agent, you will be able to investigate the skyrocketing gas prices in Los Santos. Agent ULP will commission one to four players to investigate whether gas companies and the Duggins are conspiring to artificially inflate gas prices. So that is good news. Solo players will be able to complete all these missions by themselves if they don't have any friends and they won't be forced to wait around for someone to join their lobby to complete the missions. Vehicles. Two new Amani Tech vehicles will be arriving along with more tuners, bennies, and HSW vehicles. New customization options and upgrades will be available for older vehicles in the game. There will be a new showroom floors for test driving and buying cars on the spot instead of going on your phone to a website. Basically, I see them implementing uh, interactive dealership in the game where you, you walk through the doors and you'll be able to test drive the car and you'll buy it on the spot. What do you think about these new announcements? I can definitely say I'm more optimistic about the update than I was upon its first announcement. And this is Bearman Gaming anxiously waiting until July 26th and signing out.